Hey everyone, so today we're going to be talking about updating the firmware and the drivers for your Pioneer S9 mixer and your DDJ SZ or SX controllers. So the first thing we want to do is go to the Pioneer website, pioneerdj.com, and go to the tab where it says support. Click support. And once it takes us to that next page, we're going to go ahead and go to where it says software and firmware updates. So go ahead and click that. Okay, so now that we are at the this this page here, go ahead and look for your either mixer or your controller. So today we're going to start off with going with the, the DDJSZ. Looks like the last update was on January 27, 2016. So once that populates, we're going to go ahead and um, takes takes us to this page here. So. It kind of goes over the current um, updates for the firmware and the drivers and there's also one for MIDI mapping. So go down and choose um, the software that you need um, to download. So if you're running a um, Windows computer, this is where you would go and click this download link. And since we're running a Mac, we're going to go ahead and download the link for the um, Mac. So we want that saved. Yes, go ahead and save it. And it saves to our desktop. So going back down though, if we go ahead and see where it says um, drivers, we can go ahead and hit download driver. The latest driver was on January 27, 2016. So we would want to um, download that if we're running um, a Mac running with El Capitan. So go down. And it says here, um, if you're running Yosemite, download um, this version. And if you're running Windows and you need a driver, this is where you would hit the link. So make sure that you download the appropriate one. Obviously, don't try to install a Windows um, driver or, <coughs> or firmware for um, Mac if you're using a Mac and vice versa. So, Okay, so let's go ahead and go to the next page. All right, so now as we can see from the manual that we downloaded from the Pioneer website, we want to make sure that our controller is turned off and that our USB cable is connected to the computer. Once we've done that, go ahead and hit the sync button and the shift button simultaneously and turn on your controller and let go. Once you've seen this LED light blinking, you know you've entered the update mode. So. Uh, we'll walk you through the next step right now. All right, so our computer is uh, connected and our controller is off. And so the next step, like I said before, we're going to go ahead and hit the sync button and the shift button together. And we're going to reach around and we're going to turn on the controller. All right, once we've done that, and we can see that the LED light is flashing, we are now ready to update the firmware. Okay, so now that we've downloaded the firmware and the driver, so with our controller in update mode, go ahead and click the update and uh, double click it and it'll go through a series of questions and you might have to enter your security code and it will update and you are good to go. Okay, so now after you've done that, if you need to install your driver, go ahead and double click your driver and it'll install also. So you don't need to have that um, in uh, the controller in update mode because that's um, just for the computer itself. So it'll walk you through that. So now after you've done that, go ahead and go to your applications folder and go to where it says Pioneer and you go to the DDJ SZ and you will see here that it has put this folder in the Pioneer folder for you and it's going to go over um, what version uh, driver and what version um, firmware you're running on here so 
Um, all right, so now I'm going to go over how to update the firmware and the driver for the S9, the DJM S9 mixer. So go ahead and click where it says DJM S9 mixer from the um, support tab again. And it will take us to this page. It looks like um, on December 21st, both of the uh, the firmware and the drivers were updated. So, <clears throat> so let's go ahead and go down and choose the um, firmware for Mac. Download that link. And then we'll go ahead and go down. If you're running the Windows, you download this one. And then we're going to also download the driver link. And uh, pretty much same thing as we did for the S9. Uh, we just got to make sure that our controller is in update mode. So I'm going to go ahead and show you that right now. Okay, so now as you can see from the manual that we downloaded from the Pioneer website for the S9, we're going to go ahead and make sure that the mixer is off and that our computer is connected to the mixer via USB. Okay. And so now we're going to be working on the left side of the mixer and we want to push down the left parameter button and the back button. This is on the left side of the mixer. So hold those two down and as you're holding them down simultaneously, go ahead and hit the power button. Once we do that, it's going to, um, this uh, LED light is going to blink. So this utility LED light will blink. Um, and you'll know that you're in update mode. Okay, so with our computer connected to the um, mixer, we're gonna go ahead and hit the left parameter arrow and the back arrow or button, and we're gonna reach around and turn on our mixer. Let go. And you will see this clip light blinking and it'll let you know that you are in update mode. So, okay, so now that we have successfully updated the firmware, we're gonna go ahead and turn on the mixer. It lights up and it'll show you here the version that it's running. 1.06 uh, is the version of the firmware that it's running. So it is the latest firmware. You guys are good to go. If you have any more questions go ahead and let me know again this has been the update to the firmware update for the s9 the ddj s z and the ddj sx